Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Jeff, the IT guy. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Lenovo Legion T7i. This is a 34 liter uh, pre-built. It's got 3060, 10700K, and 8 gigs of RAM right now. What we're going to be looking at is uh, upgrading it to 16 gigs of Vengeance DDR4 3200 megahertz CL16. The RAM that's in it currently is 8 gigabytes DDR4 3200 megahertz CL22. And so what we want to see is if XMP works on this machine or if it requires RAM straight from Lenovo to hit those XMP speeds. And so this machine is rated for 3600 megahertz. Um, it's what Lenovo says on their data sheet that it will support 3600 megahertz up to either 32 or 64 gigs of RAM. It also supports 3200 and 3400. And so we're going to see if we can get the XMP off this. We're going to look at the BIOS, and then we're also going to look inside of Windows using CPU-Z to make sure that we're actually getting that XMP value that we're looking for. So let's go ahead. What we're going to do is we're going to start by taking off the side panel window here. And once we get that off, we're going to flip it over. We're going to get closer, and we're going to replace the RAM. Replacing RAM is really easy. The only thing you have to do is just take the old RAM out, put the new RAM in and the slots that match, um, you know, make sure you put it in the slots it's currently, uh, currently occupied. So take those out, put them in, and you should be ready to go. And then we're going to fire it up, and we're going to get into the BIOS and see if we can turn on XMP, if it's even accessible in the BIOS. Now, <clears throat> if you've seen my video about the HP Omen, um, the XMP values are actually coming straight off the RAM that comes from Lenovo. And so the board, I guess, there's firmware on the board and in the RAM or something that says, hey, this is HP RAM, um, it's rated at this value, and then it hits those XMP values. Now, you can't put in other RAM and hit those XMP values. So what we're gonna hopefully see is that this machine will actually allow you to use your own RAM and hit your own, and hit that RAM's XMP base. I'm gonna flip this over and move the camera up. All right, so here we are, here's the RAM. We're gonna go ahead and take it out of its packaging. It's pretty simple. This is an RGB RAM. Um, I went to Best Buy and got this. And so Best Buy's prices on RGB RAM is ludicrous. So this stuff was a little more affordable. It looks like this RAM here is in slots two and four. So just pop up these, uh, brackets here. Just take the RAM out. This is what it looks like. I actually, uh, it says Lenovo branded. I don't know who it's made by though. Probably Crucial would be my guess. It's not bad looking RAM, but you know, we're going to try out this Vengeance kit and see where that gets us. Hopefully we can hit the XMP values because I mean, the speed of this, it's the same as far as megahertz go, but the cast latency you know, is 16 versus 22. And so that's quicker and should give us, I mean, it's not gonna amount to much performance, but some, and plus it'll be nice to have 16 gigs instead of eight gigs. Now, of course you could also go with um, some pretty cool RGB RAM if you wanted to. I'm gonna link some RGB RAM in the description. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna just go ahead and put back on the nice uh, glass panel here. It's pretty heavy glass, it weighs like five or six pounds. So we're just gonna go ahead and put this back on. And once we're done with that, we're gonna look at the BIOS and then in Windows. And hopefully um, we're gonna get some goodness with XMP. If not, we'll all be disappointed but you know, at least y'all get to see if you can do it or not, instead of trying to search Reddit or, you know, whatever. Oh, Jeff will hook you up. We just got one more to go, and then we're gonna plug it up and get into that BIOS. And I'm hoping to see a pretty decent BIOS myself. This is a Z490 board, so I'm hoping it's got a nice BIOS to go with uh, the Z490 ness. All right, so let's move it over, and next time you see me, we'll be looking at the BIOS. All right, so here we are in the BIOS, and let's see if um, see if we can get some XMP. Let's see if it even picks up our 
All right, let's see. Devices. You can do set up your lighting. Advanced. Maybe it's under advanced. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so it's showing that we have 16 gigs installed at 2133. Hey, it's Samsung. Uh, that's the drive. Devices here. CPU setup, maybe it's in here. I doubt it. C state. Turbo mode. Why you do this, Lenovo? So this says that we can set memory and CPU OC settings. Hmm. Wonder where. This BIOS sucks. Okay. All right. Let's check inside of Windows. It's probably where it is. Maybe, I mean... Maybe we can en enable XMP in Windows. Otherwise, it's not looking too hot, which is a shame. I thought Lenovo was going to treat me better than HP did, but I guess not. I guess not. Now, hey, fix this, put a real board in it. Do do do. Okay, it's under Lenovo Vantage. Okay, so here we are back in Windows. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna take a look at hardware info. We'll see if anything works for us. So we're, it looks like we're still running at 2133. Um, should be able to overclock on these machines. I'm not sure, I think it requires Intel XTU. Well, everyone, that's, it's a little bit embarrassing. Here I was, I had high hopes for Lenovo, hoping that they would, you know, be able to support XMP. But as it turns out, Lenovo doesn't. They're just like HP. They don't support XMP. You have to buy specialized memory. This time it doesn't have to be straight from the manufacturer. It has to be JDEC um, memory that supports either 3200, 3400, or 3600. And you're going to get those speeds, but you're still going to have low cast latency, or I mean high cast latency. Uh, it's, it's a shame. It really is that Lenovo hinders this machine um, with their BIOS. Um, it's got a Z490 board. It's got nice heat sinks. It, it should be able to handle XMP. It really should. Um, this is a shame, a crying shame, that you can't use XMP on this machine. Um, you know? And at this point, like, yeah, you got 16 gigs that runs at 2133, or do you go 3200 megahertz that run, you know, it's eight gigabytes, you know, unless you buy JDEC, I'm gonna find some JDEC memory, put it in the description. Um, that'll work, apparently, according to Lenovo. We'll see. Um, well, according to their forum and everything like that, it should support JDEC memory from like Crucial. Um, I do believe. Uh, from everything I've read and found online after trying to start this video. So that's a shame. Um, you know, oh well, oh well, I guess. Um, stay tuned for more videos. We're gonna continue looking at the Lenovo. We're gonna install a Corsair cooler, a water cooler, a 240 millimeter AIO. And we're also going to install um, some front fans in this. We've got the SB, SP, uh, 120 RGB elites. We're going to look in there and we're going to see if you can control the uh, Corsair node lighting thingamabob or whatever it's called um, from this board. Uh, hopefully we can. We'll see. If not, you know, the board is the biggest hindrance on this machine, which is sad. It'd almost be worth buying a $120 board and slapping it in there just to be able to use XMP and everything else. So maybe we'll look at that as well. Um, 
Why not, you know? Why not? If you got everything else, you know, what's an extra $120 for a good board? Hey, stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos so we can continue looking at this stuff. Um, hit the bell notification or whatever. Uh, yeah, you know, subscribe. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think about the fact that Lenovo is hindering XMP. And uh, tell me if you've had any luck with some JDEC memory. Uh, Y'all stay out of trouble and stay safe. Keep it real.